Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today I have come up with a interesting uh, video on stage creation in Pega. So we have an option to reuse stages across different case types. This is a special subscribe note. Please do subscribe to my channel so that uh, I would be knowing what are the content you are liking and what are the topics to prepare for the upcoming videos. Let's get started into the topic. So we know that under case types, we have different uh, case types that are already there and we configure stages. So I have seen like many applications uh, uses different case types, but they have some or other uh, same case stages uh, and those stages are not saved or uh, like every time they do create uh, their specific stages on the respective case. So under records and process, we have separate rule for stages you can see here under process and stage so you can define a stage over here and that stage you can define in all the respective case types and uh, this can be reused suppose you have uh, a stage uh, order validation now for this order validation you can see under behavior tab we have processes Suppose uh, we have uh, some like 10 to 15 processes in this particular order validation stage and uh, we have some 4 to 5 case steps which uses this order validation. So now client has come up and said like uh, we need to like uh, uh, like stop doing process of one of the process in this. We, we end up creating many uh, case step rules and, and we are not uh, re utilizing the OOTB features given by Pega which is like we can just keep that uh, when rule and we can restrict with uh, never that is one and in future if you, some other case type is using this respective stage it will automatically inherit and suppose already there are case types that already inherited this stage then uh, thumb rule is you have to go and uh, validate change the start process over there so this is uh, about this stage and here you can have uh, validation and SLS you can define the rest for the respective stage and based on your respective class hierarchy you can save the respective stage and these are instances of rule or BJ stage I believe we can go here and check yes these belong to rule or BJ stage these are instance of that respective class and uh, if you know like a stage specific actions that also you can configure here optional process and optional actions these specifications this is straight up so here uh, i have defined this uh, respect to stage right let's see how it behaves case types so here i have two processes capture order info which is always and this is automate id which is always now i am going for capture account information okay I am clicking plus stage. See order validation. You can see it automatically came here. And this order validation, you can see like once uh, it is done, if you want to move automatically to next stage, you can give. Otherwise, if you want to resolve the case, all those uh, capabilities are still present, even though it is a already defined stage somewhere. And see here. Uh, suppose in this account information this order uh, validation you don't want to run this process then you can go here you can give when rule and you define some when rule like uh, otherwise uh, never okay and if you save it only for this respect to case step when this stage is invoked this will be never but in the same lines i am having another case type where all onboarding details here i am again trying to add the same stage here see this is always because this will be referring directly from our stage and here i didn't do any changes just i click save okay now you go back to records stage refresh this see this is onboarding details 
this respect to stage uh, record will be created over here if you want to do any changes you can do directly here this is uh, account information here for the first uh, process see we have defined never so this is the uh, background of this uh, stage usability and uh, not only that uh, it uh, have it is having all the capabilities of making this to alternate stage if you want to can just go here and click set as alternate stage it will be an alternative stage and this automate id uh, for that also if you want to play around with some options you can go with that and uh, now this is already work task uh, sorry this is a capture account information onboarding details are there now i will go here i am checking it out so for automate this one automate id now for this i am giving never this is the main place where we have defined the stage now automate id start is defined okay now let's go back to our respect to case steps that we already defined this is account information where we have defined only for the first one okay now i'm refreshing it as this is already referred see you can see this is never but if you see automatically this is still start always why because we have already referred before and if you want to do that change you have to come here to the respect to class specific stage and you have to define your process here okay in the same lines capture onboarding process now let's go to the another case step like employee details here i'm adding a process sorry stage which is order violation now our expectation is this should be always and this should be never this is good this is never see now if you click save another instance of employee id details will be saved okay so this is where uh, like one of the most uh, useful thing if you are dealing with many case types and uh, if you are dealing with uh, uh, same stage in the case types and uh, you want to restrict uh, the processes respectively for this and if you want to have a master overview what are the processes or what are the actions that are there so this particular uh, stage odb capabilities is very useful hope uh, you have learned a new concept today and if you already use this uh, respective uh, capabilities in your project please share your knowledge so it will be very useful for uh, the learners thanks for watching this video hope you like this content please subscribe to my channel click on bell notification so you won't be missing any latest video from this youtube channel